Christians tend to prefer a decent burial for their dead ones. For example, until recently, various Christian traditions agreed with Judaism and Islam that cremation was antithetical to their belief and custom. Nevertheless, most Christian denominations have changed their positions considerably in the last few decades, and the percentage of Christians who are choosing cremation as an alternative to traditional burial practices is growing. Such a change has confused many believers. This video explains why cremation is not a sin. The Greeks introduced the practice of cremation on open fires to the Western world as early as 1000 BCE. They seem to have adopted cremation from some northern people as an imperative of war to ensure soldiers slain in the alien territory a homeland funeral attended by family and fellow citizens. Cremation was practiced in the ancient Near East also. However, the Israelites did not share this ancient Near Eastern custom. They tend to bury their loved ones in a tomb, cave, or ground. When Sarah died, Abraham did not own a burial place. Therefore, he bought the cave of Machpelah from the Hittites. He used that cave as the burial place for Sarah's body. When Abraham died, he was buried in the same cave. When Moses died, God buried him in a gravesite that was never revealed. King David was buried in the city of David. The same practice continued in the New Testament with the burial of John the Baptist. The rich man, Lazarus, Stephen, and Jesus himself. There are no recorded cremations in the New Testament. Nevertheless, there is no scriptural prohibition of cremation in the Bible, either in the Old Testament or New Testament. In other words, the Bible neither favors nor forbids cremation. Hence, the question remains, what should be the best Christian approach to cremation? As indicated, there is no scriptural command against cremation. The Old Testament does not warn against cremation. It does not attach any judgment or curse on someone who is cremated. However, some believers object to cremation because they think that cremation does not recognize that one day God will resurrect our bodies and reunite them with our spirits. It is to be noted, however, that cremation does not make it impossible or difficult for God to resurrect that body. He can resurrect a body eaten by a shark, or a body stoned to death by persecutors in the early century. God can equally raise a person's remains that have been cremated. The result of cremation or slow decay over thousands of years is the same, and it makes no difference to God. From such background, Billy Graham famously wrote, at the resurrection, it will not make any difference if the person has been buried or cremated. Hence, cremation is not against biblical commands. It can be an ethical option for Christians. Personal choice and discretion might be the essential criteria here. God can resurrect a buried body and cremated body at his will.